All right, folks, so today we've got another quick how-to video, and today we're going to be taking another look at the Dreamcast serial port SD card adapter, and we're going to walk through the process today of copying your game saves from your VMU over to the SD card, so backing them up, and we'll also walk through the process of copying 100% complete game saves that you might find online from the SD card over to your VMU. So there's a couple of things you'll need. Obviously, you'll need a VMU. So this is just a standard Dreamcast VMU. You're gonna need the Dreamcast serial port adapter and also the DreamShell software. I've already done a DreamShell setup video, I'll not go through that today, but if you wanna check that out, you can check out the link up here. But this is the serial port SD card adapter and obviously the SD card just slots in there. And if you've not used the serial port adapter before, obviously it just plugs into the serial port right here. So that's everything you're going to need. Once you've got your serial port adapter plugged in, just boot up DreamShell and pop your VMU into your controller like you normally would. And then once DreamShell's done booting, all we're going to do is go over to the VMU manager. And you'll see here we've got the VMU in controller slot 1. So we're just going to click on that with A. And right here on the left hand side, you'll see all of the game saves that are on my VMU right now. So I just want to back a couple of these files up. So I'm just going to click over here on the SD card on the right. And then this is super straightforward. All I'm going to do is select the game saves that I want to copy over to the SD card and hit the A button to copy. And it takes just a second, but you'll see the file appear over on the right hand side. That means it's over on the SD card now. So we'll just repeat this a couple of times. I'll take my crazy taxi save here. And my Shenmue one, definitely don't want to lose that. Be nice to have a backup. And my Cosmic Smash save as well. So once you're done backing up the saves that you want, we'll just X out of that and head back to the main Dream Shell menu. We'll go into the file manager real quick. Into the SD folder. And within the SD folder, there's a VMU folder. We'll click on that with A. And there you can see the game saves that we've just backed up. So they're now nice and safe. I can pop this into my computer and save them down there. That way, if ever anything happens to my VMU or I lose it, they're all backed up. Now, as I mentioned a minute ago, we can also use the memory manager to save 100% complete game files that you can find online over to your VMU. So I figured we'd run through that real quick as well. I did manage to find a really good game save repository over on GitHub, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And what I'm going to do is download a 100% complete game save of Capcom vs SNK2. So what I'm going to do here on the GitHub page is just scroll down until I find Capcom vs SNK2. Open that file. And obviously you can see there's a bunch of different files here, so different versions of saves. And I'm going to take what I think is the latest one, but we're looking for the VMS file, which will be this one here. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click the download button. And once that's downloaded, I'm just going to head over to my downloads, find that file, and drag it over to my desktop. Now, one thing I did notice when I was looking at these complete game save files, they do have different file names from the VMS file, which is created by the Dreamcast. So I've already created a base game save for Capcom vs SNK2 and backed it up onto my SD card just so I can get the file name for it. So what I'm going to do is go into the VMU folder on the SD card, find the Capcom vs SNK2 game save, click once on it, then right click and copy, just to copy the file name. And then I'm going to select the game save, which is on the desktop, click on that, and then paste to rename it. I'm also going to change the file extension to lowercase because that will drive my OCD insane. So once that's done, we're going to take the renamed file and just move that over to the SD card. And we're all done on the computer. 
Okay, so here we are back in DreamShell, and what we're going to do is head into the VMU Manager again. And we'll select the memory card in slot 1. And then over on the right hand side menu, we're going to select the SD card. So that will show all the files on there. And I'm actually going to select the original Capcom vs SNK2 game save and delete that from the VMU. So to do that, we just select it with B. It'll say, do you want to delete? Hit the A button and it will delete. And then we're going to take the game save from the SD card and copy that over to the VMU. So again, we'll just highlight that, hit A for copy, A again, and you'll see it's now on the VMU. So once that's done copying, we're actually done with DreamShell, so we'll reset the Dreamcast and boot up Capcom vs SNK2. Okay, so here we are in Capcom vs SNK2. And when it was loading, it did prompt to load from the VMU, so the game save is definitely there. So we'll start a game up real quick. And when we get to the player select screen, we should see Shin Goki and God Rugal, which are the two unlockable characters. And there they are. Fantastic. Alright, so that's how you can use the serial port SD card adapter to back up your VMU files and also download and copy 100% complete game save files from the web and drop them onto your VMU. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have, please drop us a like and also consider subscribing. And also, don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Thanks for watching.